Hey, what's happening, everybody? My name's Omnius. Oh, God. And welcome to Let's Play the Spider on the Wall. This hit something in me. I saw a picture of it. I don't know if what I saw was a crack on the wall or a spider, but it was gigantic. Anyways, this is kind of like a race against time because I actually just ordered something on Uber. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I thought this was a first person game. Oh, it's been three hours since you took the road. The forest path looks very wide, but there is no houses in sight. Only trees for miles around. It felt like you had entered a different world. Uh, I, I, I just double click. Shit. You look back at your reflection in the mirror. You look exhausted. You notice a small motel complex about 10 minutes away. It seems like a good option for lodging. The parking lot looks empty, so you park close to the building. A couple of minutes later, you're walking through the doors and making your way inside. Service, please! You walk straight to the counter and tell the receptionist your name. What's your name? Well, my name's Aaron. How are you doing? He smiles politely and tells you that you have a room available for 80 bucks per night. He hands you a card key and points you in the direction of the elevator. You thank him and head upstairs. Once you reach the top floor, you head toward the end of the hall and slip into your new room. You see what I mean? Look at that to the right. Gigantic hole. Oh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, that's what I saw. Heck no. The door closes behind you and the lock clicks. Your heart pounds in your chest and you exhale deeply. It feels good to be alone again. You sit on the edge of the bed and remove your boots. They don't fit well anymore anyways. You kick them aside and stretch your legs onto the bed. When you finish undressing, you lay back on the bed and close your eyes. Try to remember something pleasant. Your mother was always kind. She told you sto- You hear that? She told you stories when you were young. Tales of heroes and monsters. Now we're in Five Nights at Freddy's. You heard a noise. An eerie chill ran down your spine. Ugh. 10 p.m. Suddenly you felt a presence. Someone is watching you. You turn around slowly. You could sense him. A tall, thin man is staring back at you. You couldn't see his face in the dark. He doesn't look human. The room suddenly went silent. You scream, but nobody heard you. The figure disappears. It's okay. It's not real. It's just a dream. I can handle it. You open your eyes and look around the room. Empty. You sigh softly before getting back to sleep. Hey, mom. What's up? Uh, of course, answer your mom. I double click it again. You answer without thinking, and she immediately starts talking. Hey, how's everything going? Fine. You hear her take a deep breath, probably trying to contain herself. Is this a bad time? Uh, I mean, I know it's late, but she trails off and sighs loudly. Not really. Uh, what's wrong, mom? I miss you a lot. There's a brief pause. Didn't you get my message? I sent you a letter yesterday. Did you get it? Her voice cracks slightly. Yeah, sorry, been busy. Well, I'm glad you're finally listening to me. We need to talk. You sigh heavily and roll your eyes. Why can't we just do this over Skype or something? This is taking forever. Because you won't listen. You have to come home. I'm, go I'm not going anywhere until this is done. If you don't come back by tomorrow, I'll call the police. What a pain. You should be used to it by now, though. Every time you try to leave, she says something like this. I hate you, but I love you too. I don't know if you should be saying that. Go ahead and call them. I don't care. Don't make me cry. Please. It's embarrassing. She really makes you feel special, doesn't she? You can't blame her, though. You've been gone for quite some time, and she misses you terribly. You think it's safe to say she loves you, right? You end the conversation with her and turn off your phone. You lay back on the bed and stare up at the ceiling. You sigh and rub your temples. Oh, 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 holy fuck. That sounded like it was right beside me, dude. Someone's knocking at the door. You groan and roll over in your bed as you look at the clock. It's been only 20 minutes, so you quickly pull on one pair of pants and go to answer the door. Who is it? 
You open it to find a little kid. That's a that looks like a granny, man. You open it to find a little kid standing there. He has short brown hair and is wearing a hoodie and a weird robe. Hi, he says with a smile. Uh, can I help you? Can you draw me a sheep? You look down at the piece of paper in his hand. Who are you? I'm in the next room with my mom. What happened to her? You ask curiously. She died. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm sorry. So, can you draw me a sheep? Uh, sure. What kind of sheep do you want? He stares blankly at you. Um, yeah, just draw a sheep. You shrug and begin sketching your idea. It takes you a few minutes, and it isn't perfect, but you think it will suffice. Yeah, that's just... <laughs> okay. Hand it to him. Thanks! You give him a quick salutation and turn back to bed. You didn't shut the door? You pick up your phone and check the time. 2.47 a.m. You heard a sound, but you ignore it. You place your phone back onto the bedside table and close your eyes. You sit upright in bed and glance around your room. Nothing. You close your eyes and breathe slowly. The noise keeps going. You open your eyes and look into the direction of the noise. Oh, it's under the bed. It sounds like a rat. Damn, what's wrong with the rat? Was that a rat? Was that a rat? What is it? You wake up and look around your bedroom. Nothing. Your head hurts. You yawn and stretch. You don't remember falling asleep. Oh. Okay, you feel observed. You look around and see nothing. You close your eyes and focus on your breathing. Calm, deep, slow. You hear someone whispering. You open your eyes and look around the room. You look at the hole in the wall. You stare at the hole, you try to- I'm gonna stare at the hole, man. You feel a presence. Something dark moves through the portal. Oh my god! <laughs> Yeah, you scream, obviously. Game over. The spider crawls out and... Oh! Wait, what? The, the, whoa, whoa. the spider crawls out of your ear. Fe what the hell? Yeah, you try to sleep. You cannot find sleep, so you decide to check on the receptionist. You make your way downstairs and into the lobby. Yo, there's a spider up in my room. The old man is sitting behind the desk listening to the radio. He looks up and smiles when you approach. Good morning. How was your room? Yeah. It's fine. Would you like to order food? You shake your head. Eh, no thanks. Uh, how can we help you? Uh, I'm gonna leave the motel. The old receptionist looks at you. Are you sure? There's so much more to see. Yeah, I'm sure. I have to go. Thank you for everything. Take care. Also, thank you for the sheep. No problem. You head out of the motel. Dear Lord. <laughs> Dear Lord. You take the road. It's the end of the story. You have thoughts about yourself. I'm me. You're you. In the end, it doesn't matter. There was no reason to be here. You're thinking about your mom. Your mom had good intentions. So did everyone else. They all wanted the best for you. The world's just full of bad situations. People who loved you. Everyone wants the same thing, to see you smile. They try to hold back tears, but then they come anyways. It hurts. You just want to go home. So that's the end right there, but let's go up. Wait, 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 let's go back. Let's go back. Just a little bit, because I want to see what happens if we stay. One second, one second. Go back to your room. You head back to your room after thanking him. As you walk, you hear a strange noise coming from your room. The door of your room is open. You heard a baby crying. You head towards the room. Once you reach the door, you opened it and saw a strange rope going through the hole in the wall. There was also something tied around the end of the rope. You try to pull the rope, but the knot is tight. You decide to enter in the hole. Are you out of your- Whoa! Okay. I'm starting to think this is going to actually be the best content. <laughs> what is this? You follow the rope through the red hallway to a dark room. The baby is getting louder. What the heck is that? Boo. Suddenly, there's a blast of light and it turns dark. 
Game over. The, sp the spider crawls out of your ear. Fed. I don't understand what that means. Oh, okay, okay. So basically that was... It. <laughs> okay, so I know this is going to be kind of a different video because I've never actually done a video like this, but uh, hopefully it's pretty good. It's actually going to be leading into this other video that I'm supposed to be doing for a developer that actually contacted me. So I hope it was okay. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, like it. If you love the video, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.